Hi beautiful people, hello beauties and welcome to my channel. So today's video is my third anti haul and if you don't know what an anti haul is, it's basically stating or saying why you're not going to buy a product, a beauty product or whatever your channel is anyway, but in our specific case, what beauty products I'm not going to be getting because I saw them and I didn't feel like I needed them or I didn't like the packaging or I seem something that I didn't like it but obviously you know we're gonna go through it together and we're gonna explain why and you know whatever so the first thing that I'm not gonna be getting and I'm gonna be putting pictures somewhere here uh, is from Wet n Wild and it's their new Hello Hello which is like a, a highlighter but like I saw the picture and like the highlights look beautiful like they're illuminators basically because they're really wet and uh, they're not like in the in, in the state like the press highlighters that you get on a pan or something in a pan like and stuff like that but the reason why I didn't like it it's because it looks like um, it's a bit too much of a product like then you have to keep on putting them you know patting it on the skin and Basically, I'm done with it. I mean, the only illuminator that I like is from Iconic London, and I always put it, put a little bit, and um, I mean, I don't really need a lot of them in my life. So, I mean, I love Wet n Wild. I do. I love their products. It's just a few products that they don't really scream my name, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, anyway, let's keep going. The next thing that I'm not going to be getting whatsoever is the new uh, Colourpop, um, their spring collection. It's all with the butterflies and the yellows and stuff. The reason why I'm not getting this is because I just... Uh, I feel it's all over and over again. Like, they do have um, these highlights that they look gorgeous. They're like this in two packets, you know, um, and they look amazing. They have these little lippies, which I'm not really a lippy girl, so I wouldn't buy lips. Uh, they have these looks, uh, lipsticks that I'm not really a lipstick girl either. And then they have the Super Shock shadows, which I don't really like. I like their individual shadows that you can get and you can put them in a pan, you know, that's what I love from their uh, section and I do love their liquid lipsticks so um, it's it's just a series that doesn't really scream at me. I, when I saw it I was like mm, you know it's it looks beautiful it's just not for me no not for me I might try the looks lipsticks because everyone keeps on raving about it but it's not gonna be from this series specifically the spring collection it's gonna be the the ones that they had uh, I think they launched before that. But yeah, the spring collection just doesn't really call my name, so I'm not gonna be buying. The next thing that I'm not gonna be buying is from Too Faced, and um, it's their natural collection. I mean, everything there seems to be just remastered from what they already had, and it just doesn't really, like, they only, they have a lipstick that, I don't like lipsticks, like I said. Then they have a bronzer powder that doesn't really, say anything to me and then the palette lately the palettes and let's say the reviews from people don't say that it's the best or anything i do have the chocolate palette i do have the peach palette i do like their old palettes but i don't know it just doesn't seem to be and plus um i need to wait for it to come to Debenhams otherwise um i can go and buy it from their website because the shipping and the taxes are just incredibly expensive i mean i went to buy the pitch perfect foundation and the primer that together comes to 65 euro i believe but with the tax and the sleeping came to 150 or 120 i mean that's a wage like a week wage let's say for an average person maybe so i don't know two face i honestly don't know the next thing that i am not buying whatsoever is the new urban decay uh lipsticks that the liquid lipsticks that they have the glittery ones oh my god no i mean i do love urban decay as a brand i do like some of their shadows but i'm not a glittery person i know you see my lips and you're like are you kidding us right now you're wearing a 
you know, a glitter. But that was just once, just to do the video. I'm not gonna go outside with uh, wearing lipstick. Even talking right now, I'm just having difficulty because I just feel like, you know, that, that feeling. Anyway, when I saw this collection, I was like, oh, no. I mean, the packaging looks deadly. But I'm not really into the glitter and stuff, so mm -mm. no, sorry, Urban Decay. The next thing that I'm not gonna be buying as well is from Kat Von D. I do love Kat Von D. Before any Kat Von D fans start coming and butchering me, it's just the new uh, lipsticks that she came. She's going to come anyway. The colors are stunning. I love the colors, the range of it, it's so, so, so amazing. It's just that I'm not a lipstick girl. I never was. The only lipsticks that I own is from MAC. And even that, I always go and reach mostly for my liquid lipsticks because they're mal and they stay there. Otherwise, they just disappear. And I mean, if you do buy something, you'd like to use it as well. I don't want to use something that I have to go and keep on putting on my face all the time. So there you go. The next thing that I probably won't buy, I'm not 100% sure, I am tending to the no at the moment, is from Urban Decay again. It's their um, a highlight palette, which is called Sin. It looks deadly. I know it looks deadly, but... I have so many highlight palettes. Yeah, I'm I'm not really living for it. So, sorry. The next thing, and I don't know if it's a sock for you or not, but the average person cannot get that Kylie. And I'm talking about the new Kylie uh, wet set, which came out again because it was out of sock, or they just made it into the black packaging, which looks deadly. I really, really want to get that palette, but it's sixty five dollars plus sipping, plus everything, that is quite an expensive highlight palette. I mean, I do, I understand that the, the way you press the highlights, the way you make it, it costs more, and the way they apply and everything, it would be deadly. But it's just a bit pricey, I think, for a highlighting palette, especially when Let's say Anastasia Beverly Hills came with Amrezi, which everybody raves about, and it's only $32. And then they have to choose between $62 and $32. I mean, they'd obviously go for something that is going to give that glow instead of going with four highlights that, you know, I cannot afford. So that's, that, that's it. And I think the next thing that I'm not gonna be buying um, is from Tarte, and it's their new um, glosses. I think that, I believe that they they are uh, liquid lipsticks, but they're not really matte. I think they're semi matte or something like that. But I saw them, and at the first impression, I was like, yeah, I do like them, but I don't know. We just it's a bit too much, like when they launched the Mermaid Collection and oh, the brasses are amazing. The palette, I'm not gonna be buying that palette. It's just because the way I saw the palette, it has more shimmers, just a few colors that they look alike. There are loads of orange, reds and stuff, which um, I do already have. So, I mean, if you only, you're gonna buy that just for the packaging, because the packaging is deadly. But personally, I'm not going to be able to buy it, so... Sorry, Tart. There's nothing wrong. No, I'm just going to claim that, that there, I don't have any problem with the brand. It's just a few things from their products that don't agree with me. That's all. The next thing that I'm not going to be buying... And I already texted and called Concilio on Twitter a thousand times. Doesn't reply. I'm sorry, I can't do anything. It's her new uh, Smash collaboration with Smash Smash Box, and it's their primer water. I really wanted to get that the one with the coconut, but I cannot get it in Ireland. I text her asking whether I can get it through a website or some other place. Never bothered to reply to me. I'm not gonna bother to buy her product. So nothing personal with Nicole. Honestly, it's just that. I kind of wanted to get it. I can't get it here. I don't know when it's gonna come here, but I know that physically, at the moment, I cannot get it. So, 
it's a no for me. And then the next thing that I'm not gonna get and I passed that, it's from Kylie Cosmetics again, and it's their uh, Storm Collection. It just looks a bit too much, like the glitter, you know, I don't like glitter, it's a pass. Then I saw the palettes and I loved the colors in the palette, but there were so many people doing reviews and they were like, eh, you know, it's okay. Then the lipsticks were not my taste, they were really weird colors that I, wouldn't really uh, wear anyway, so mm -mm. and um, overall, not not good. And the last thing that I am not gonna be getting, and it's the same because I do like Violet Voss, is the new Violet Voss uh, palette. It's the picture over there, and the reason is because I seen this palette. It's just over and over and over again, like the 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 way the palette looks when i saw it i'm like oh my god i've seen that somewhere else and then i read for my palette from lara lee and it kind of looks the same and then i read for the other violet Voss palette that i have and it's just the same it's the same pattern so i mean other brands do change their packaging they do change their stuff once in a while just to make it look a bit more fun and you know to have different packaging that's like oh my god it's settly you know so i mean you know how urban decay comes with all the time the same uh way of them of their palettes and then with uh kristen Lian, Lian, it came with a different packaging and everybody went ballistic so that's what i mean you know something else so that's it you guys I'm, I'm gonna leave descriptions of the products that i mentioned with links that you can go and check because you might want to buy it no bother i am just stating here my personal opinion and why i'm not gonna be buying again a disclaimer i don't have any problem with the companies i love the companies so yeah guys that's it if you like me bitching and moaning you know and you want another video or anything like that you can comment down below and you can tell me what did you like about this video what did you not like about this video what could we do to make it better and everything that's anything you can imagine so i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna go have a nice little coffee and um <laughs> if you did enjoy my video guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right let me see you hitting that button let me see you doing it. Um, don't forget to give thumbs up for my video because I know you is like people bitching and moaning. So that's what I'm giving you. Drama. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I see you again in my next video. Bye.